Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is your narrator Ravi Gupta. Today we are going to talk about camshaft. And uh, in this video I will tell you about the camshaft, why camshaft is required, how camshaft work and after that we will see the camshaft nomenclature, basic nomenclature which we need to know. And after that we will see the cam lift. And I am going to begin the camshaft series where I will explain the whole topic which we need to take care for the exam and also we need to take care for basic operation in our marine engine design working so let's begin the video let's start what is a camshaft so a camshaft is a mechanical method employed to operate valve such as inlet exhaust and fill so this mechanical method is why needed so let's see this is the crankshaft okay and for the operation of the inlet valve exhaust valve and the fuel pump we need the rotational movement and that rotational movement from the crankshaft is transmitted through gear arrangement to camshaft okay now as the movement is transmitted through crankshaft by gear arrangement to camshaft or to chain drive now this rotational movement is required to activate the inlet valve exhaust valve and fuel valve fuel pump at correct time for making to ensure that this inlet valve exhaust valve and the fuel pump is actuated at correct time we need a cam profile such that it helps to carry out that function so for that thing we require a cam shop and let's see what i've written here to operate valve camshaft is rotated by mechanical drive as i have told you this mechanical drive is this okay the follower is moved up and down by the cam profile this cam profile is moving moving the follower up and down and causing the opening and closing of the valve so the camshaft profile is helping to push the push rod up and down which is causing the actuation of inlet and exhaust valve and same thing movement of reciprocation movement for fuel pump for pressurizing the fuel for injection so let's see now the basic nomenclature of the camshaft okay so let's see what is the base circle so base circle as you can see in this diagram this part of the cam means the base of the cam the base of the cam is called base circle okay and this is the angular period of the cam and the highest point of the cam is called nose and the flank is the area between the base of the cam and the nose where the change in section means from as you can see from base of the cam the follower will start to ascend and it will slowly start to take the peak means slowly start to take the it will start to rise and come to the highest point of the nose and it will actuate the push rod and after that it start to descend and will again come to the base of circle this is how the follower will work now let's see basic definition what is called angle of duel angle of duel is defined as the angle through which cam rotate during the period in which the follower remain in the highest point so i hope it is very simple means the period during which the follower remain at its highest point that angle is called angle of duel means the angle through which the follower the higher follower is remaining at its highest point so this angle is called angle of duel now what is the flank the portion of the cam lobe which is between the nose and the base of the cam so what do i mean by cam lobe so before let me explain you what is cam lobe so as you can see this is a total perfect circle but as you can see the, there is a change in section of this from here to this this change in section is called lobe so this is called the to whole thing is called cam lobe now the portion of cam lobe which is between the nose and the base of a cam is called flank so this is called flank it is between the nose and the base of the cam and flank is also cause the opening and closing of the ram because from here the follower rise into the nose section of cam from base section so what, what do i mean by opening and closing of ram basically as you can see the follower will start to ascend 
as it leave the base of a circle from the flank position that point is called opening of ramp and slowly it will come to the highest point and after that when it start to descend and come here it is descending and coming back to base of circle this is called closing of ramp so that is that that part is called opening and closing of ramp is also a part of a flank now what is the nose the highest point of the cam section is called nose of a cam and what is the cam angle angle of cam for which the follower is lifted so this angle is called cam angle the angle from which the cam is lifted this angle is called cam angular period through which the cam is been lifted is called cam angle now let's see what is the cam lift okay so as you can see here in this first diagram this is a push rod okay and now the cam is on its base of the circle and the valve is closed now the valve now the cam is rotating by the rotational drive as it is getting from cranks out now it is rotating and it has just lift left its base of the circle and it had entered the flank area and now it is slowly rising to the nose section and here you can see the cam is now at the nose section so as it lift leave the base circle and enter the flank area the valve start to open and the valve is totally open here okay at the maximum peak position so the cam lift is defined the as the cam leave it base section and enter the nose section the follower start to rise and the distance travel from base to nose section is called cam lip so the distance travel from the base means as it leave the base and the total distance is travel when it as it peak this distance is called cam lip okay and this cam lip decide what will be the maximum opening position of the valve and this will also decide the maximum up movement of a plunger inside a barrel so this cam is very important and need to be correctly timed and correctly monitor okay so i hope you understand what is cam lift what is cam angle nose flank angle of double base circle basic part of the cam nomenclature i hope you understand and what is a cam sap and how a cam sap work please do like and subscribe my video please share if you like it and uh, please remain tuned for the upcoming cam series i'm going to upload all the material how the cam is constructed and how we are going to change the cam and everything will be uploaded in the next series so please remain tuned and image it goes to marinedesult.co.uk thank you